Hello everybody, welcome back to the Minor Man Douglas video. Today we'll be going all over in regions. They can customize them, display on the scoreboard like you see in many mining sims, and even stat requirements. Like let's say I need 10 coins to get in this green region. Well guess what, it'll TP me out. We'll figure out how to do all those things along with the teleport action in this video. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now what's the first step for a region? We have to actually make them. So the way we make them is to go to the Pro Tools menu in the top left. Now yes, I am using a texture pack, it's the neighborhood pack. But if you go to Pro Tools and get the region selector. Enter inventory, which is a basically an enchanted stick. Now if I left click or right click one corner and then I right click the other corner, that way the whole entire region, region is selected. Now these red particles will appear, which means Whatever's in the red particles is the region. Then what you do is you go to the housing menu, house settings, regions, press create region, and I'm gonna name this green. Now later on, I will teach you how to display them on the scoreboard so the names do matter, but it's also able to rename it. So right now it's named green, let's say I name it green two. It will automatically rename. Now this is a newish feature. Anyway, I'll do this to the rest of the regions. So now I've created all regions. This one's green, this one's yellow, and this one's blue. Simple enough. But, along with renaming regions, there's a lot more things you can do in the regions menu. Now like I said earlier, there's in the regions menu that you can rename the region. But why rename the region if you don't even see it? So what we're gonna do is go to the housing menu, house settings, scoreboard editor. Now I'm just gonna add a blank line, but make sure it's a custom line. Don't choose any of these other things. It needs to be a custom line. Inside this custom line, do something like region, colon, and then do percent percent region, percent percent. And it will tell you your region. So earlier we created the regions first, so if I walk into green, it, it like switches to green. If I walk into yellow, it switches to yellow. If I walk into blue, it switches to blue. But that's not all. So if we go rename a region, let's say I go to green, and rename it to and a green. In this menu, it will just say and a, and if, even if you go here, it'll just be and a. But if I go into the region, it does it on the scoreboard, see it's green. And if I do the same for the rest, like if I do yellow and E, which is yellow, it will also be yellow on the scoreboard. This is useful, especially for things like mining sims or like a water area. Now, other than the region placeholder, there's many other placeholders. Now, placeholders can be on holograms, they can be on action bars, titles, and the scoreboard, as we can see. If you do slash placeholders, You can see all the placeholders, percent percent stat, underscore, global stat, region, house, ping, guest, cookies, group, but these actually aren't all the placeholders. There's a health placeholder and a hunger placeholder, which were added recently, that's why they're not in the menu just yet. But that's basically placeholders. Now, what if you want to enter this region and get an item, or you want to send a chat message or title basically saying, welcome. There's a way to do that, and if you exit the region, what if you want to decrement your coins? Now, I created the tutorial in the past for mining sim, and I did it in this same house. And I already have a stat for coins, which is just percent percent stat underscore coin, so just coin. So I'm going to make it where if I enter this blue region, it's going to give me a coin, but when I exit, it's going to take a coin out. So if I go here, entry actions. Make sure it's player stat. Global stats for everybody. That means every single person would share the same amount of coins. And you don't want that. Do coin. Increment 1 for entry. And then exit. I'm going to do coin decrement 1. So if I enter. I get 1 coin. But if I exit. I lose the coin. I can do this over and over. And I will forever do it. And you can do this for pretty much any action, like let's say I enter yellow, it's going to send a chat message yellow. Same thing for there. And that's basically enter and exit actions, which are pretty much self-explanatory. 
but there's even more to that so like let's say when you enter this region you need to have like 20 coins or you you need to have like rank 15 like you see in Woolworths Man and Jack if you're an OG or Jack Uwu's mining sim um when you enter a region it's gonna check and see if you have like rank 15 to go in an area so what we can do is go to regions and I'm gonna go to the green region and on entry actions I'm gonna add a conditional and let's do stat requirement coin is greater than or equal to 20 make sure it's not equal because that means if they have like 30 coins it won't allow them so greater than or equal to is very important that's on the conditions now on if actions if so it's actually going to be nothing the else actions is what we want so what we need is a position so stand in the position you want them to teleport to go back to the region and on exit action i mean else actions you can teleport player click location and in current location so i don't have 20 coins so if i enter this region it happens and you can also add a chat message saying not enough coins or not a high enough rank now for this we use coins not rank but in the end it doesn't matter as much as long as it's your house now let's say there's more about regions that i did not answer because like a new housing update came out check the comments below and they have answered it and also i have an official discord where i answer questions or you can just chat with other housing fanatics like me so make sure to join it make sure to subscribe and like the video if you'd like to see a part two to this or even more videos in the series thank you for watching and see you in the next one